Many people are under the impression that once a teacher is tenured, that's it. They can stay forever. No, that's not true. I mean, you have to perform in the classroom. I mean, there is an evaluation process that teachers go through on a regular basis. Um, you know, teachers have due process rights. They do not have tenure, okay? That's a term that may apply to college professors, but it doesn't apply to public school teachers in the state of California. I, I've signed off on people getting them out of the classroom and getting them out, you know, getting them literally out of the profession because it, I mean, once that happens, nobody's going to hire you, not in the state of California. So, um, you know. Even after 15 or 20 years? Even after that. I, I had one that was almost at 30 years. So, uh, you know, again, the, the idea that people, you know, once they get their, get beyond their probationary status, they're teachers for life, well, they're only teachers for life if they're cutting it in the classroom. We've created this, th this atmosphere where it's, you would have to believe that every school must be 80 or 90 percent incompetent teachers, which I know isn't true. Um, you know, and nobody's saying that there aren't teachers that maybe shouldn't be there, but, but there's, there is another side to it, okay, in that First of all, in the first five years, most people get out of, you know, that can't hack it. If they're not let go, they get out on their own. I mean, you know, who else would put up with what, what we have to? You have to be committed. People who think this is a career or a job, they're gone in five years, okay? It really is a calling for those people who remain. Um, and so, if there's somebody that's been around for 15 or 20 years that's not effective and is still in the classroom, it's because an administrator is allowing them to remain in the classroom. Really this idea that teachers have this permanent tenure, if you will, is completely false. There are safeguards in place to remove ineffective teachers. The process, however, is borne and the responsibility is borne by administration, not by teachers. I mean, the idea that they work eight to three is, is baloney. Most of them are there an hour before. Many of them don't leave until till five. And even if those who, who leave before that, they take a bunch of work home. Um, you know, uh, they work on weekends. You know, I, you can go by any school site during the school year on, on, on a Saturday or Sunday and see cars in the parking lot because they're in their classroom working. So. I don't think they realize how many hours we put into our day, into our week, um, how many of us stay until five or six o'clock at night, they co we come in on the weekends, how much paperwork we bring home, papers to be corrected. I would invite any parent, any politician, any administrator to come into a classroom and see what it is that we are doing because it certainly isn't nine months out of the year. It's pretty much year long. The only time I'm able to work and to develop lessons and to get ready for the next year is during the summer. During my winter break, I am grading, I am processing more paperwork and getting ready for the next term coming up. There's really no such thing as um, the nine month job for a teacher. You're pretty much working every weekend, every holiday that you can because it's the only time you can get those things done because while you're in the classroom, you're expected to be working with students. So I think the public doesn't understand that while we're in the classroom, we're not sitting at our desks, grading papers, reading magazines, using the computer. We're up, walking around, working with those students, one-on-one, -on -one, in small groups, as a whole class, doing our best to help those students achieve. Okay, I'm getting this through the window. These are teacher cars, I know, because they're my friends. <laughs> And it is 4.35. On a day they were released at 2. They had prep time from 2 to 3, but you see, not even the union stops them. But great, great people. Okay, the parking lot's not full, but the point I'm trying to make is that we don't care what the union says. We work. We do what's best for the children. Next.
parking lot on a day when there's no meetings. And what time is it? Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. It is 4.38. Another school. More teachers. Still here. At what time? 4.44. I'll be back. I don't know if I just filmed the teacher's parking lot or what, or the teachers or who, so more evidence at this school teaches. Here's another school and yet more cars in the parking lot and it is 4.59 on a Wednesday. Oh, more cars.